Welcome to Man Night Club Street Racing Let's Play Part Number Seven. And I just screwed up when I was rolling into a well, fuck me. <laughs> Anyways, in this part, um, we are driving the SN four seventy DS, which is uh, considered by the stats the best car out of the SN brand. And we're going to catch up to our final hookman of London in this part. Now normally people would go for this guy first, and then Emery, but for my end, uh, I chose to go with Emery first and then this guy afterwards, because that's the order that was placed in uh, Arcane Mode, because yes, the race that we do in Queer Mode is, uh, we get to doing Arcade Mode as well, so don't worry about if you want to repeat these races, you, you can do so in Arcade Mode with whatever card that you have and whatever and whichever way that you want. I'm trying to see if we can catch up to this guy. Because it seems that his call is very fast. That's another reason why I went with uh, Emery, battling Emery first, because this guy's call is, is faster than Emery's calls. And in arcade mode, em the order that you go for head to heads and weight points is the same is the same order. So you go for Kareem, Emery, and this guy. So that's the main reason why I went with Emery first and then this guy afterwards because Emery was before uh, this guy in you know, waypoint race orders and stuff like that so there he is driving a hatchback and what is this guy even doing? And my the form of my car is extremely sad right now. How unfortunate. The reason this car is four nitruses that we're using, so oh, oh, oh wow! Did you all see that? <laughs> Come on. We gotta catch up. Ah! I think. Oh, that wasn't the area to start the race. Well, oh, shit. Still can't get over how sad this car's fun is. Oh, get better control of this car. Oh, I think we just passed it. Yep, we passed it. <laughs> Calling us an opposite from the colonies, I gotta say. So here's our first race against this guy. And this is apparently the way to do it. To get that to that next checkpoint, it's gonna be a, a very awkward to do it. And oh man, so bad this is uh, not in the stream anymore. Sorry to see you go. Otherwise, maybe lag was uh, interfering too much for you. I don't know, but... We'll see. Anyways, let's start off this first race. This guy really sounds vaguely British or Australian, I gotta say. And our first race is in the rain, I gotta say. And we got him as other homeboys in hatchbacks as well. And why did I think why did I think it was best to go that way? Or actually that guy was gonna go that way anyways. And oh oh boy. I mean, going this way would have been better, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I see why he was going that way. It's because going straight uh, gets a bit of momentum. <laughs> Best of Zombie YT, welcome to the stream. Uh, you ever seen someone streaming Midnight Club? Uh, I would assume that you might want to put in the world before, that you never seen, seen someone stream it before. Well, you're not streaming. You're not seeing me stream Midnight Club, and I got a break as not to knock it to the wall. And I think it's better to use my nitrous for more speed. So yeah, welcome to the stream. You're now seeing me stream Midnight Club tonight, and yeah, trying to beat this guy. Take a quick left, 
And there we go. Okay. We're gonna call this guy up, and this guy's name is Lucas. This guy's name is Lucas. Moving from the bio, this guy's name is Lucas Howe Jones. So, <laughs> this guy's very British, so I'll show him for sure. And here's a first head to head race. Let's hope it doesn't become as difficult as this waypoint race was, despite the fact they only took one attempt, attempt to win, but we'll see. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna cut out all cut out stuff and editing that I want to cut out. Yeah, we face up against Lucas Howe Jones for the first time, and as you can see, even his first car appears to be so fast, probably because his car is a hatchback and then it has a very light weight. So, yeah. <laughs> Love to see how things go oh, from here on out. Oh! Oh, God! How that? How the hang that wall uh, slows down immediately? How did it do that? I don't know. I'm so far ahead of Lucas, I'm not even gonna plan on using my nitrous. Alright, do a quick turnaround on different worlds. It's that same sound effect again, voice clip. And and off with a win at, at Big Ben. We <laughs> finish out the Big Ben. How nice. It wasn't a bloody fuck, Lucas. At least I win his car, finally. And we're gonna see the stats this car has as compared to the Ascend that we just drove. His car is called the Modicum XSV. And let's see the stats this car has as compared to this one. Alright, so. Alright, so it actually is has less top speed acceleration, but it handles, but it has better handling. So that's why it's better because it has better handling. Those pinstripes, those uh, off, those offset stripes are gonna be gone once it turns white. But I don't really care at this point. I drive white cars. I gotta stick with a white car. And drop. <laughs> How nice. Anyways, we are now driving this Modicum XSV. Which, uh, I know it's a European hatchback, but I don't know what model it will be based off on. I know one of the models is, will be based off a particular car that you would, that you would all know about, <laughs> of course. Okay, gotta figure out how am I gonna get to Lucas. And what the hell are these roads? Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, this could take a while because I'm still behind him. Although he's he's when he's going into traffic as well, so like maybe this could be beneficial to catching up. Actually I might have to find it an alternate route to catch up to him and try to see if I can avoid this traffic as much as I can because uh, yeah. Oh, gotta make sure not to use those, not to drive up a hill, is because I don't want my car to be flown. Does he turn right here? No, he doesn't turn right. God damn it. He's on the highway right now. He's getting off the highway. Onto the. Oh, oh! I see why. This guy was—I wasn't following Lucas after all. I was following the city champ. Well, goddamn it! I was following the one guy after all. Well, I'm not ready to face off against you yet. Yeah, I was following the one guy. What the hell was I even thinking? <laughs> Let's 
no wonder he was so no wonder he was hard to catch up to because he was driving a way faster car than what Lucas was driving. I'm keeping this in because I want to be able to show the ADRC uh, see to uh, my to the viewers that's watching this. I should have known Lucas drives around this area, not not the highway. No wonder no wonder he was so hard to catch up to because he wasn't driving on the highway. That was damn when I was driving on the highway. Well, thankfully, uh, the way the route that I was trying to follow down that led me to look at it, although I still need to catch up to him. Because I don't know that he's driving a faster car than mine, but he's not. But I would, get, but I would know for sure it's not faster than Dalen's friends. Alright, there he is. There's Lucas. Oh, God. I gotta. Ugh. I gotta make sure not to crash everywhere and to keep control of this car. There's his, there's Lucas's new light, which, if you look at the top of the car, this car is heavily, uh, uh, gen uh generically a Mini Cooper. <laughs> this car looks like a Mini Cooper for sure. Come on, don't listen to me. There we go. How convenient, and you're gonna go that way. I had a feeling you were gonna turn. And what the hell am I even doing? I should pay attention. Oh no, I'm gonna lose sight of him. Or not, because I see shortcuts. Because, you know, when drivers uh, take you to the destination, they may primarily drive on the roads. They don't take the shortcuts. So, uh, we're all good here. Oh boy, oh wow, okay. Wow, good job, Lucas. You pretty much just... You pretty much just had to go on to the side. Where are you... Where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Oh, waking, turning left. Oh god. Hi. <laughs> oh no, no. My god, this is a long way to go for a race. And did we get past it? I think we did. Yes we did. A good night to be the pants off me. Well, we are finally gone to the race, which is basically what I would assume we got to the finish mark, to the finish line, to start the race apparently, because I would know the start line is not there. So here's what the race is going to look like. This is, this is going to be fun, for sure. <laughs> it took us all out, we'll have to see on that. And I see that uh, the red homeboy driving essentially the same car, and yet this bus is blocking my view. Uh, that this home, this wet homeboy- Oh, whoa, okay! <laughs> this wet homeboy is driving the exact same car as Lucas, except has no, it has no decals on it. That's gonna be a habit for once we do warm the most. Once we do warm the most in this game. And I might as well go for this uh, checkpoint, but was checkpoint, but I might screw myself over because I didn't go to the to that checkpoint first. Oh God! Although I'm going the same direction as Lucas now, so maybe catching up to him can I can be able to hopefully be able to pass him and stuff. Yeah. And the wet homeboy, I assume it's the wet homeboy, because there's the color I see, is got got ahead of him. Oh god! My god, it was that. It was a hot left we had to take. Oh, it looks like I'm in the league right now. And police is after us, of course. Oh. Okay. 
get over this road and end it off by that wamp. Hey! <laughs> what a nice way to end up this race is by jumping off of a ramp that they set up for us. I, I think Homeboy 1 didn't utilize the dirt very well. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> was better Lucas for that uh, ramp right there. And all the other Homeboys finished as well, and Homeboy 1 beat Lucas. Well, you know. Let's come up for another race. And what's home? And what's that Homeboy doing? Oh my god. Oh, well, let's do the next head to head race against Lucas. Let's see what the map looks like. Oh, it looks, uh. It looks simple enough, I gotta say. It's just a matter of how to get to those checkpoints. We'll have to see how we can do so once this race begins. So a battle between two Mordecoms right here, my Mordecom, XSV, and his look, that looks like a Mini Cooper. And it'll be really nice, and it'll be really, really making sense too, because Mini Cooper was what's made in Europe. So, yeah. So I know that we go this way. Hey, mate, slow down. I'm not gonna slow down because I'm because I need to go fast to win this race. You're the one that's you're the one that's slowing down, and I realize, and uh, this is how we go, except and the police call. Well, you found an alternative way that I should have remembered, but uh, decided to go this way because uh, why not? I guess. Oh sh. God, I might lose this race, aren't I? Actually, not really. Because I see the finish line is right there. Wong, Wong. <laughs> that was a long way, Lucas, and we ended by Big Ben again. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> that was gonna be the long way, Lucas, because I just found a way to win. So yeah, if I win the Mini Cooper mode come, let's see what the title of this call is now. This is the Mordicum X S V point five. How nice with the uh with the checker stripes uh offset right there. Although all it's gonna be although it's only gonna be shown like, you know, black checker tire sets since this call is white. And it's gonna look normal because of the white top as well. <laughs> Transition. And drop. <laughs> okay. Now, for the final waypoint race against uh, Lucas, I gotta make sure to remember to actually take the. To actually make sure not to hit the tree, yes, but also to make sure that I don't. That I don't attempt to follow the wrong person this time. Because uh, yeah, I, I kind of that kind of wasted my time. Although I'm gonna keep that in the editing because I'm because I'm lazy. <laughs> I gotta make sure to um you know follow the right person this time. Because then we know we only have like two people left uh, in London. So oh boy, he passed me. Well, I'm gonna catch up to him because we're driving the same car type, not the exact same car, but the same car type. So. If he screws up in traffic, it gives me a chance to catch up to him. Ugh. Is it just me, or does this car have, um, have, doesn't have as good of a steering as the Lego XSV? I don't know. It feels like this car is not, isn't steering much at all. I mean, I'm using the analog stick, and it doesn't steal as good as the Lego XSV. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to learn to keep take control of this car. Anyways, there's a Lucas right now in the uh, in his best Mordecai, I would assume. Oh, oh boy! Really, I'm not in your range. Well, we gotta catch up to him. Um... Man, that call is fast. I'm not saying this call isn't fast, but that call is just fast though. And we're ahead. Nice. Alright, there's this final white. 
that has a unique exhaust design on the back of the car. Hey, mate. Try to keep up with me. I will try to keep up with you. I'm gonna keep up with you so you can be able to take me to the race. Alright, go left. Interesting Mini Cooper I'm driving. <laughs> oh boy, I see the city champ right there, Dylan, passing by. Although it's not close to us. And what the fuck am I, did my car do? Go left, and it's hard for me to turn left because of this car's handling. I should have checked the stats before I picked this car. Oh, God. Excuse me, the voice cuts from the London pedestrians are, <laughs> very, are very interesting and silly to hear too. <laughs> They're more interesting than the Manhattan pedestrians. The only notable uh, Manhattan pedestrian song if I remember hearing is someone saying, Somebody call me an ambulance! In, a odd, in an odd tone and way. I wonder where are you going? Oh, I think we've I think we've reached our destination. Yes we have. Yeah. Looks like his monochrome has a unique design on the side. So here's where um here's what the map looks like. I don't know if you can consider this to be a century or one of circle ways because you can basically just go anywhere, but the way I'm going it doesn't seem like a circle ways because it doesn't have like that line of road um that we're gonna drive on, so We'll see how things go from here on out. I'm thinking on my route. Now, let the you the and we got past an hour in this stream. I know we for more than an hour and it's foggy as well. So yeah, it's foggy. We gotta figure out how we're gonna do it. We're gonna go through with this and get over these hills. And this car still has terrible, terrible handling. Well, I wouldn't say it's major terrible, but it's still terrible to the point where I can't even steal it properly. I'm just gonna follow Lucas because he knows the best route. And I'm not gonna go through with the um, with the ramp, that big rock ramp, because uh, there's no way we. Oh, he went on all fours, and he went up perfectly as well, and I hit the wall and stuff. Yeah, I think I think I got on my route thanks to Lucas. Oh god, what the what were you doing, Lucas? Oh, god sakes. Oh god. What the Wow my the back of my call is sad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, I think I figured out my way. It's just, a, it's just a matter of how of how to take it, and I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Looks is catching up. No. Yeah, he's behind me. Come on. This is the last checkpoint, and then we gotta get to the finish line. Actually, I'm. Looks like I'm driving better than Lucas, though. Although the car's handling on this. Although the car handling for this one is shit. I'm still the lead, and I think I have enough momentum to be able to win this race. And yes, I do. And the police car wrecked as well on the way. And the police car just basically team won't me and Lucas. Wow. And uh, even though the city champ is here, I'm still going to um go to cool one immediately just to be able to be more precautious and safe. To make sure and stuff that nothing happens. And this video, so got past three hours in playtime. So this rest play is gonna be longer than uh, Grand Turismo concept for sure. All right, let's call up Lucas one last time. Look, mate, you ain't got a hope in that banger. So let's see what the final head to race against Lucas is gonna look like. Oh boy. <laughs> Well, since this, since this is a head-to-head -head race, uh, at least it tells us which checkpoint to get to next, rather than like going to which going to whatever checkpoint that you use. So 
which zone are going to next. So I think I know which way he wants us to take. So, but I'm not. But who knows for sure? Let's go. You should know because this is a car that you used to drive, and we are racing in the rain, as you see here. Going left, and uh, being careful because apparently there was an, there was an offset road right here, and uh, I'm not gonna take that way because. Uh, that ramp in, in that tunnel might flip our car, so. And then we're playing. I think we're trying to play safe right here. And which way are we going? We have, oh, we have to go left, okay. Oh, oh! Really? That truck's in the way? It doesn't help too big that because it's raining. It's making the handling even worse for this car. Ah! God! Oh, no! We're just not get to everything here. Uh, no, no. Come on, steal car. Come on, just fucking steal. Oh, God, no! Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Well, he's on my head, so I shouldn't have anything to complain about here. And turn the hard right! Sit on the hard right! And after this terrible race, we finally win. It wasn't the bloody flick. I have won your last car, Lucas. And I'm gonna show to you all what that car is. It is a Morticum for sure, but what is the title of it? Let's see. My god, that was a terrible race in the rain. But at least it's finally over so I could be done tonight. Uh, for tonight's stream. This car, we unlock, it is called the Morticum XS3.25. So it has less, so it has, uh, it has more handling. Well, I don't know about that game. At least this handle should be better. Uh, it's less doable, but it has higher top speed and higher acceleration as compared to the Ascent. It has more handling. No, it had no. It has less handling, but it's more doable. And uh, this Ascent has a higher top speed, but it has. Uh, Less acceleration and more to come. So overall, I would consider this car to be um to be better to get, than the extend. I've used this I used this uh, car in future races uh, than the ascent. So I consider the XSB point twenty five to be better than the four seventy DS. That should be it and transition. And then the spot off with the final drop. <laughs> And all that's left to do is to follow the sage champ that's driving on the highway system or on a complex highway system as we saw earlier. So yeah. Uh thank you guys so much for watching the this part. In the next part we are going to battle against uh Darren Thorick, who is a London City champion in the next part. So that will complete uh I think that will be able to complete the London uh races in the next part as well. So yeah. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, hope you guys have a good night, and as always stay determined, and take care, see you all in the next part.